Well, with summer just around the corner, more people will be heading to the beach. So how can you keep yourself and your ohana safe at the water? Ocean Safety Lieutenant Tanner Hayton joins us now with some tips. Good morning. Welcome, Lieutenant. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. So, of course, Hawaii means beach time 365, but in the summer, even more people are headed to the ocean. What That's do they right. need to know? So, yeah, summertime, kids are out of school. We get a large influx of uh, visitors coming to our islands, and everybody heads to the beach. It's hot. We got long summer days. So, um, you want to be prepared, listen to the forecast. Um, we have a Hawaii uh, beach safety website. You can always refer to that. Um, there's apps on your phone to uh, let you know when the large surf is coming. But basically, information is key. You want to be informed as best as possible. Swim at a lifeguarded beach is my recommendation. Always talk to lifeguards. We're there from 9 to 5.30. Uh, we'll point you in the right direction and try and keep our, your family safe. And when it comes Make to the summer, easy. where is the swell at in the summer? Because when we talk about swells, a lot of people think, oh, North Shore, winter time. Yeah. But the summer, they kind of tend to forget about swells. But we do have swells in the summer. Yeah, so the south hemisphere comes alive in the summertime. We get swells generated from thousands of miles away. Um, but it doesn't just affect Waikiki and Alamana. Uh, we'll get surf all the way from Sandy Beach on the east side to Yokohama Bay on the west side. So it's a large area to cover and everything in between. So once again, my advice, swim at a lifeguarded beach, talk to lifeguards. What about the Kaivi coastline? Why is it so dangerous? So that's, that's my area. That's where I work. Um, that's the southeast tip of the island. And uh, the way the island's shaped, that, that tip actually sticks out. So we're exposed to the north swells, uh, south swells, as well as the east swells. So 99% of the days out there, it's very rough. Um, the lava rock meets the ocean. It's a lot of cliff line. Mm -hmm. um, and the majority of the area over there is, is, is like that. It's all cliff line. So... Um, if you do get swept off the rocks, it's very hard to get out of the water, and help is a long way away. And it's, it's a very beautiful place, so people will just pull over on the road, venture out to take a picture, and they find themselves getting closer and closer to the water's edge, and it's very easy for them to get swept off. If a l large set, set comes, large wave comes, you can sw sweep them off. And Sandy's is always very popular, also more popular with the visitors on Tuesday sometimes because Hanama Bay is closed on Tuesdays. Yeah. They see that, so they keep driving. They end up at Sandy's. What do they need to know about Sandy's? Um, so, yeah, Tuesdays is kind of an odd day for a park to be closed, and tourists aren't, our visitors aren't expecting that. So what happens is they pack the car back up, they head down to the road. The next beach is Sandy Beach. Mm -hmm. Come around the corner, and you see beautiful white sand beach and tons of people in the water. It's the complete opposite of Hanama Bay. Hanama Bay is a snorkeling beach. It's safe. It's relatively safe. It's um, protected from the surf. Sandy Beach is an expert level body surfing and body boarding beach. You need uh, years of experience, the proper equipment, body surfing, body boarding fins, not snorkeling fins that just will get blown off your feet. But uh, what makes it real dangerous is it comes from deep water and it hits a shallow sand sandbar and that creates a very powerful wave and it explodes on the sand so mm -hmm. um, people attempting to body surf or mimic the body surfers for the first time or just going for a swim or learning how to boogie board um, what happens is they'll collide with the sand and that's how we get a lot of injuries statistically we lead the nation in spinal injuries neck and back injuries a lot of broken collarbones uh, shoulder injuries, stuff like that. All right, Tanner, well, we thank you for being here. We thank you for what you do to protect our beachgoers and for all the lifeguards across that. the state. And if you do see your lifeguard, that doesn't mean to let your guards down. You still got to watch yourself, watch your kids, Absolutely. and just watch your back at all times. Right? Yes. All right. um, yeah. A lot of people think just because they're at a lifeguard beach that they can let their kids run free. Um, we got to keep our eye on the whole beach. Mm -hmm. So as a, as a parent, it's always good. Keep eye on your children, um, especially if they're in the water and they're not the best swimmers. It's good to swim with your child. Keep them in arm's reach at all times. All right. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thank you for having us.